Hello. My decision to participate in a short-term scientific mission to European Corporations in Science and Technology had two major reasons. Firstly, the perception that a partnership that could be formed through the short-term mission will significantly strengthen my research project with minimal costs and in a relative short time frame. The proposed plan for the mission was not even right when I first envisioned my PhD project plan, since it was not in the skill set of my home institution. However, it is something that literally opened a new chapter in my project when I made, and made it more robust. The second was a personal desire to gain an international experience both at personal and professional level. One of the most compelling aspects of the short mission experience is its ability to provide access to a wide range of equipment and expert personnel in research methodologies that might not have been readily available at one's home institution. This diversity in resource and knowledge greatly enriches one's research journey and offers a unique perspective that can lead to valuable breakthroughs with minimal costs to all the involved partners. This mission allowed me for three months abroad, where I could collaborate closely with other researchers of a completely different area of expertise with new methods and materials that allowed me to see my PhD project in a different perspective. In addition, I had contact with two different languages, despite not achieving a true proficiency in either. The mother language of the country that hosted me, and the specialized scientific language of that field of, of study to which I gained exposure to when working with my colleagues. This experience enriched my cultural and professional awareness. Looking towards the future, I would suggest a few improvements in the STSM structure. Firstly, it will be beneficial to have a longer timeline between the announcement of grant acceptance and grant start. This adjustment will enable applicants to effectively organize their stays, especially in the case of grants for longer periods, as was my case. This could also help in situations where the conference or events are scheduled during the mission period, requiring additional logistics and planning. Furthermore, I propose the implementation of activity prior to the application process, this activity will involve future applicants presenting their research projects and new ideas that they think they require partnerships. At the same time, institutions interested in hosting STSM participants could come forward to express their willingness to assist. Furthermore, I propose the implementation of an activity prior to the application process. This activity will involve future applicants presenting their research projects and new ideas that they think that require partnerships. At the same time, the institutions seeing this activity that are interested in hosting STSM participants could come forward to express their willingness to assist them. This proactive approach would facilitate the creation of new partnerships, because often just looking at the existing lists may not be sufficient to realize the full potential of these institutions to our idea. This activity will bridge the gap fostering collaboration and innovation between the participants and the institutions. In summary, my experience has been exceptionally rewarding, providing me with international exposure, access to valuable resources, and enriching my research endeavors. I truly suggest to all potential applicants to submit to future STSM grants, since it's a valuable tool to improve professional network, soft skills, and research ideas, a truly win-win scenario to all the involved parties.